Come on, guys. How you doing? Good. So you guys out just doing a church message? You know, I go to church and the gospel. Okay. So the only, I don't have a problem with the message at all. I don't have an issue with that. Okay. The issue is the manner. Okay. Obviously, this is private property. Mm. Okay. If the manager asks you to leave and you refuse to leave, that's a criminal trespass at the point. Even though I know you're here for a good message. No, like I said, don't have an issue with the message. I have an issue with the manner. Right. Okay. If you don't live here on this property, on the private property, and they want you to leave, you have to leave. You cannot refuse to leave. Okay. Okay. okay if you refuse, it's criminal trespassing. I could take a jump. Obviously, that doesn't need to happen. Right. I understand. Right. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah, it does. Now, do you live in, in Bay Point? Or yes. Bay Point, yes. So you have contractual interest in that property over there. You do. Okay. You, If you don't live out here, you do not have any contractual interest in either apartment complex. Okay. That makes sense. It does, yeah. Okay, do you guys have identification on you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Do you mind if I see I it? I don't have my ID with me. Okay, since. do you mind giving me your name? Yeah. I think last time they were asking me back and still did. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. Cool. Well, I didn't do it last time, okay. so. So that's three weeks ago? Two weeks? Uh, three, yeah, three, three weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. There you go. What church are you guys with? Uh, well, I'm with Charlotte County Baptist Church in Ambie, Indiana, a little town on the border of Illinois. He's with Charity Baptist, Baptist Church. In in Naples, we have a different churches. Just, different uh, churches. Yeah. Just having to be friends and yeah. friends, similar churches. Yeah. yeah. Because you don't have to go to church to go to heaven. You know, just share the gospel. Yeah. Mm. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I said, not a yeah. issue with the message, guys. Right. Um. Yeah. Last time they said we are soliciting, but we talk about the Supreme Court ruling. We're not selling anything. You know. And, uh, right. Even yeah. with like I, the solicitation, I really don't care about. It's uh -huh. kind of, it, 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 it comes down to who owns the property. If, if they want you to leave, you need to leave. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what I understood, and I could be wrong, obviously, uh, but back in 2002 when the Watchtower went up against uh, Snyder on a Supreme Court ruling, they said that people were allowed to give free literature in private apartment complexes and, you know, gated community, communities with HOAs and so forth, um, as long as they left of individual people leasing that house or apartment unit itself, the individual at this door here, right. asked us to leave and we left respect. We didn't just stand in the door, you need to hear this, you know what I mean? Right, Obviously, right. we'd be crossing the border. Right. Um, what I understood is that what we're doing here isn't illegal. And they can't make a blanket um, prohibition probi okay. prohibition of us leaving the facility. That's what I understood from the law. Now I can be right. wrong. Right. As far, like, as far as Indiana goes, okay? As far as you go to each of the world, whether you're going to invite a guest here or not, that's, that's right. That's up to them. Okay. But as far as the property goes, that goes goes to the management. Okay, the management says, "I don't want you anywhere on my property." Um, it's it's just like any business. Any business has the right to refuse you service. Right. Same with private property. If someone doesn't want you on the property, then you don't have that legal right to be there. I just saw it as like an individual right. You know, them. Right. Hey, this guy. Right. Said, hey, I don't want yeah. to do with you. Like, all right, how can I stay next door, next door, next door, etc. I didn't think that a manager could, because he's leasing. There's that case in the Supreme Court ruling said the manager cannot make a blank provision in the behalf of the entire complex. It's the individual. If they tell us to leave, we will leave. We have to leave. You know, because they're to leave. Right. Right. And, and, right. and it does come down to where you right. do have to leave. I mean, so, I'm telling you right now, like the state law, if someone asks you to leave property, you don't have contractual interest in. Mm -hmm. But, 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 it's, but, it's kind but of does the Constitution trump every single state law, though? According to Article 6, Paragraph 2. It, it does. So but at, sa at the same time, though, if they're asking you to leave, you, you have to leave the property. So but I'm, I'm not, not going to sit here and argue with you. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to. I'm just uh, stating my rights. I, and I, even if what we were doing is illegal, and maybe, um, I don't believe it is, but even if it was, uh, we'd still, you know, we'd come back next Friday and keep giving the gospel. We couldn't stop them. The Bible says we have to obey God rather than, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, it's, oh, are you still at the current address on your license? Oh. Actually, we don't have to give him your license. <laughs> That's right. 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 What's uh? Do you have a what church were you with? I'm sorry, Tri uh, County. Tri County Baptist. Yeah, here I'll give you a track with the address and everything. Thank you. Uh, okay, you have one. Gotcha. Right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You guys staying warm out there? I'm trying to. Yeah. And what, what was your name, sir? Uh, first name C H E N G. C H E N G. Yeah. And last name Z H O N G. C H O-N-G. 
And, then, and then my American name is Justin, and I just want to give you my legal name. You need to look it up. So. It's Justin? Yeah. And what's your date of birth, Justin? October 27th, 1996. Just turned 22. Just turned 22? Yeah. Well, I don't do shaves on time. Did you have, a, <laughs> you have a church card or something? Like I don't that? have it with me. It's in my apartment. So. Okay. And what's what's your apartment over at Bay Point? Uh, 411. And my church is uh, Charity Baptist Church in Indianapolis. So just hang time. I'm going to talk to the manager real quick, real quick. All right. All right. Just hang tight with this officer here. Okay. Yeah. crazy question it's gonna be anything other than pertaining to what's going on right here it is pertaining to okay go for um, it. if you happen to die today are you 100 percent sure that you're going to heaven we're gonna keep this professional i'm not gonna get into well, that's okay. anything religious if you don't mind that's fine no, no i understand that actually <sighs> can i give you a church invite what? I'm sorry, what was that? Can I give you a church invite? Just a little card? He got your card. I'll take a look at it if, if okay. I from interest. Sounds good. Sounds good. But the Bible says there's only one way to go to heaven. It's by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not by going to church or being baptized. And these are other things we, 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 we should do that. But what must we do is only by trust on Jesus. That's what that's what we're trying to share, you know. Not like these Mormons or Jehovah's Witnesses that are preaching you have to join the church to make money on that and uh, you're a total different I'm scared. Oh man. We're not Catholics. <laughs> we don't baptize babies. And uh Bible says if you baptize after we truly believe, you know, they don't really believe, so how do you baptize babies? Wanna prepare a sermon here real quick? And you have the, you, and you have the Pope that dressed like a, a woman, wearing like a dress, dressed like a mama, called himself Papa. It's just wicked, you know. And I'm sorry, I gotta give. <laughs> so you don't like you don't like other religions, is that kind um, of? Well, I mean, yeah. we don't like like we we hate the religion, but we don't hate the people. Obviously, you know, we're trying to get them saved, trying to give them the gospel, want to get them the right church to love them. Um, but other religions of the devil, totally. So even if they believe in the same God, you just uh, oh, what if they believe the same stuff? Then well, the same God, you it's different. Well, if it's the same God, and they're you know believe the same God, we're good. You know what I mean? Um, but if they believe in like a different God, like. Catholics, they say, oh, we believe in the God of the Bible. And then they say, well, that God commands us to do this, this, and this. Well, the God of the Bible didn't command them to do that. So they're believing in a different God. You know what I mean? So if I different say... Different Bible, right? Di yeah, different Bible, different words, different belief systems, totally different things. They believe their God, really. I mean, they have Mary above Jesus, and the Bible never has anything even related to that. They have their own religion. You know what I mean? Um, and the thing is, you know, if, if two religions claim, the truth claim, if, if they contradict, they can be the same. Right? Like in the Quran, they said Jesus Christ, he never died on the cross. And in the Bible, they said Jesus Christ did die on the cross. They both can be the same. Either right. they are wrong or we are wrong. So if you examine the truth claim, Jesus Christ said he's the way, the truth, the life. No man comes to the Father, Father, but by him. If Jesus Christ claimed he is the only way, then, then the other way is wrong or they can both be right. Like two so they contradict each other. That makes sense. Right. Two plus two can equal five. So either, either we are wrong or they are wrong. I believe we are wrong. That, I, don't want, I believe we are right. <laughs> Otherwise we won't be doing this. Um, but, uh, naturally they uh, believe right. the opposite. Right, right. Yeah. And they're entitled to that, you know. I mean, everyone can believe what they want to believe. We just believe the Bible. You know, the Hindus, they worship the holy cow. <laughs> you know, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> right? Millions of gods. And the oh, Bible is one God and in three persons. You know, Father, Son, Holy Lord. Spirit. Then the doctrine of Trinity, I've probably have heard about that. So. You've been on police officer long? A couple years. You like it? Yeah, love it. A lot of action? A lot of action. Kind of cool. Is Lafayette as dangerous as people like to say? Can be. <laughs> you look young, though. Yeah. 26? A little bit older. I was saying like 32. A little bit younger. It's 20, the beard. 28. <laughs> no, man, I was going to say 20. I'm like, no, 20 is too young. Okay. Okay, the question, do you recommend uh, a stun gun? Is a stun gun uh, good for, 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 for personal defense? Um, 
I mean, I got a pocket knife. I mean, just all that stuff. Uh, just a handheld that's gonna. Yeah, I got a flashlight with a stun gun. The other thing stun gun is you have to be real, real close quarters with somebody. So, I mean, it's good if you're gonna have a gunfight. You know, if you're gonna be in close quarters. And, you know, somebody's trying to beat you up, to right. send that can be effective, but you also have to be able to get to it, get it out and use it. So, it's how, whether, it's how comfortable you feel getting within uh, arm reach of somebody. Pepper spray is longer, a little bit. Pepper spray is not going to get, I mean, I no. do a stun gun over pepper spray. <laughs> yeah, pepper spray, you get uh, into the eyes, you get, well, then you get blowback yourself. They have a pack, they pack of pepper gel now, so, so it's gel. not a pepper gel, so they, they, so they, uh, liquid, so they solidify when we were when you shoot the person. When it hits, it just so, stays oh. instead of so, uh, so it's better for the clo oh, close, close quarter, they won't spread, they'll fight back fire at you so, so. Yeah, I would never use pepper spray, it's kind of, wouldn't seem very effective. And it's got a delayed reaction. Yeah. I mean, really? if you get some of pepper spray, yeah. they're not going to... Maybe you just fall it. over and just, it's like, stop fighting. It's three to five seconds before they serve. Yeah. They can still pitch you and knock you out. I mean, a pistol is... Serious damage to you, at least. Just get that. Especially to get pepper pistol. spray in your eyes. And if you use pepper spray, you're probably not the stronger guy there. <laughs> well, kind of. Hey, I mean, most pepper spray they are pretty pink. <laughs> You're meant for women, no. <laughs> no. But. Guns are still probably the most effective way to defend yourself. Yeah, I mean, somebody has a gun, you don't want to. Pepper. I'm going to get you my pepper spray gel. No. <laughs> no martial no, arts. So right. Better watch out for my purse. No. <laughs> Um, but yeah, but that's the thing I feel this kind of gun gun can jump over the battle body is a weapon that someone knows the martial arts, but still. So if they really, you, you, again, you gotta be close. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter how skilled in martial arts you are, if you're sure, right, here right, right, in that doorway and yeah. the other person's here and they have a gun. Yeah, yeah, and one bullet and you're just. Yeah. Be able to close that distance. Mm. This gun's probably the best way to go. Home defense, shotgun. Yeah, shotgun. The other one. Okay, buckshot. <laughs> shotgun. It's hard to mess with the shotgun. Yeah, that's, that's true. Well, baseball bat. <laughs> they don't have money. <laughs> you gotta be close again. You gotta be close to the bat. Melee weapons. I got a dagger. Rocket launcher. That's <laughs> <laughs> no. gonna have some blowback. That's gonna have a little bit of a negative effect in your home and you and everything. And your neighbors. <laughs> that's good. That's, that's ridiculous. ridiculous. Oh, you've been doing this three weeks. Um, is it like it? here or like in yeah, Fezzer Fez rounds? So. Uh, probably a few months now. Since months. since last year. No, really, you've been doing this since last year. Has it been that long? No, last. I, don't know if, I feel like I don't know if I've ever gotten called. I no, obviously haven't. We've ever only been, been called long. like the past because I I'll, because, because I started as a new management. Or we have no idea. I started last. Last August, and then just slowly chipping through, and then we get together. I think this year for a couple of months, and we were almost done. We have three more blocks, and we done. Well, obviously, some of the issues we run into. This gentleman here, obviously, he sounded like he had no issues with it, but there are other people that might have issues with it, and yeah. you know, he has contractual interest in the property, but also the person across the hallway has contractual interest in the property. You know, so right. it's yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know where you're coming from. I know what the law you're coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, we'll leave. We'll go. I understand, it, Dimitri. And the tricky part is they claim uh, that the uh, apartment they have their own law, they have the state law, and they are going with the constitution. Yeah, the apartment has yeah. Their, own, their own guidelines, and then our city has their own ordinances, right. and then the state has their own. Yeah. Law and then uh, obviously the Constitution yeah. has their own law, so it's a. Uh, but doesn't every the Constitution should trump every single law? The, thing, the so. Constitution does, and federal federal law supersedes yeah. state law, but also yeah, yeah the different kind of layers on that. So. It's different layers, and, yeah. and the wording can be different. Right. I mean, you yeah. could and, and it was a different interpretation of the law. You know. Yeah, what case law are you guys uh, quoting here? What, what case? Yeah, you said there's a Supreme Court case law. Supreme Court case. You said 2002. 2002, 2002 is a Watchtower case. Yeah. If you just search 2002, Watchtower case. Do you know what uh, Supreme Court, which part? The U.S. Supreme Court? Yeah, that one's a Supreme Court, but I just the remember. The U.S. Supreme Court? Yeah. There's another one. And you know, the 2002 is the Watchtower case. That's a, it's a yeah, it's Supreme Court. And Jehovah's Witness again. And there's another one. There's another one. Uh, there was so neither versus that was some one. one of the more recent ones. We, we didn't have a we didn't have Watchtower two thousand two. That was yeah. two thousand two. Yeah, Watchtower was taken to Supreme Court after it got really heated. Um, 
and there was one I think more recent, but I don't remember who that one was about or when that was. We, we usually have paper with, we don't have it today. Sorry about that. Okay. Basically, it says that like door to door, you're going to need a private apartment complex, and it's protected right. by the. Well, I'm trying to give you guys the benefit of the doubt. I'm looking up because I'm not familiar with that mm -hmm. uh, case and the specifics of it. So I'm going to look at it because okay. you guys were trespass warned out here like a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. yeah. by uh, Officer Sikorsky. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just hang tight. Okay. Do you know a do you know a preacher called uh, Jack Hiles? No. No. Really? Well, hmm. He was kind of famous, like, yeah, uh, like forty years ago. One most famous no, Baptist he, he preacher back in back uh, Heaven, Indiana. I think there's a yeah, north. Someone called the police for doing door to door, and then oh, they yeah. called Jack Hiles, and uh, <laughs> they said. You, you're not allowed to Made go door to door in the city. Them. And then Jack House said, you, you, you better build a bigger jail. They'll send 3,000 people in their truck. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was Hello, Mr. Sikorsky. Hello, Mr. Sago soul winning even to the city ordinance is passed against it. There's a city within five miles, ten miles where I'm standing right now. They called me on the phone and they said, you, you, you've gone soul winning your last time in this city. I said, no, we haven't. We're going next Saturday. I don't know where it's the mayor or the head of the chamber of commerce or the, I don't know what it's, uh, what it's called, but the biggest guy there. And uh, he said, if any of your people go soul winning, in our town, anymore, they'll be put in jail. I said, you better build a bigger jail. I said, 3,000 folks are coming Saturday. He said, you said, he said you've got to get permission. I said, we done got it. We got permission from the commission. He said, well, we'll think about it. They've, they've been thinking for eight years now. I'm saying, didn't say even till the city ordinance is passed against it. 